Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are across the globe. Well, welcome to On The Sofa with yours truly, Esther Austin. Well, with me today, I have another, I would say, can I call you old school, Phil? Uh, call me whatever you like, Within reason, I hope. Um, um, I have another <laughs> wonderful old school artist by the name of Phil Farron. You do me remember Phil Farron from galaxy so phil it's an absolute pleasure it's, it's a pleasure talking to you <laughs> brilliant brilliant and it's interesting like i was saying to phil before um this interview that he sounds so much like it late eddie amu it spooked me slightly for a moment but anyway without further ado now phil you are back on the scene you are back on the scene and you will be performing next friday the 13th of september at the winter gardens margate sea lounge big night out with some other amazing yes. artists you know how are you feeling about that because you've been out of the scene for a little while so how does it feel to be coming back well it feels wonderful but actually i haven't been as out of the scene as it would appear i've been doing select shows here and there, you know, for, for ages, uh -huh. you know, they're just, um, I mean, a, a few times for ages, uh -huh. you know, they're just, um, I mean, a, a few times I've, I've done a few nights with to my missus, or is always doing gigs around around the, uh, the country. She, she's a nineties artist, quite a big nineties artist, and a few times they've had eighties and nineties nights, and I've, they've asked me to do a set as well. I mean, I mean some sort of shows overseas, Excellent. You know, South Africa. So I've been going over there a couple of times, done some big shows over there. And in fact, I'm due back there in a few months' time. So, been doing bits and bobs, you know, around the scene. But I'm looking forward to the Broad Stairs one, um, the, Mar the, the, sorry, the, the, the Margate Winter Garden one. And I'm looking forward to that, you know, really urgently. Excellent, excellent. So, thank you for putting me in my place. Coming in your suitcase, <laughs> Phil, as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, if you, I guarantee you, we've had such great times over there. If, if you. Uh, you, you been to South Africa? No, no, no. I, I, I'm planning. I'm planning maybe to go next year because there's something that's come up for me there. So hoping to. Yeah, well, we were. We we, we did some stuff in Cape Town, and um, well, we 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 did some stuff in Cape Town, and um, um, I'm I'm doing the, uh, the cruise in 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 January. I'm I'm supposed to be doing over there from Cape Town to Namibia, which are um, oh, which wow. supposed to be doing a performance on. And and I mean, they, they are such a fantastic. The, the, the audience there is so, and the people there are so wonderful. They're so into their, their vibes. It's just, I, just, I really can't wait. So if you can sneak in a suitcase, they're on. <laughs> I'll start dieting from now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it'd be great. And so, what, I mean, what, so, but what can we expect from you next week, Phil? Because, you know, you've had such great hits in the 80s, you know, oh. dancing tight, tight, wait until tonight. And I'm, I'm going to use this as a pun, but, the, you know, this is a fantasy reel interviewing you. And I'm going to say oh, to my audience. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. But it's, it's been lovely. I've, I've done a, a couple of things. I've done a couple of things. I've done a few things. I've done a few things. I've some dates at Butlin. Butlin's been some 90s, some 80s nights. And I've been, done, done some uh, gigs down, down there. I've got another one due in, in November. So like I said, doing bits and pieces. And I just do a couple of my favourite tracks from the eight as well as you know, the, my own tracks. I'll do a couple of you know tracks of some of my favourite artists from back in the day. I normally do the galaxy tracks obviously and maybe a couple of covers. Uh, but I've done a birthday party for someone recently. He requested I do a track which, you know, I didn't really do, um, because I was a member of the band called Candidate. Yes, you know, I remember, really yes. back in the and and they and this guy was was a real fan of I Don't Lose You. So he asked me to put that in the set. And it, it really went down so well, I've added it to my set now and then. Now and then I do you know, when I'm at the one remix, remix. Okay, brilliant. And um Phil, you know, after all this time, what is it that you feel still inspires you with the music that you do? You know, what is that thing that you think <clears throat> If I got up tomorrow and I didn't even get paid for it, I would still do what I'm doing now. You know something? If that, if this is a, you know something? If that, if this is a, this is a really important thing for me because fortunately, I mean, I, I'm just I just love music mm -hmm. and being around music. You know, I, I've always you know I mean I've done interviews back in the day. People ask me what, when was my first you know inspiration, and I can't remember. You know, it's, it's like my first meal. Yes. I've always been <laughs> crazy about music, and, and I'm, really, I'm, I'm blessed that I've managed to you know, you know, do it as a career. Mm. You know, I remember in, in, as a kid in Jamaica, one of my favourite pastimes was pretending to be a jukebox. <laughs> I was getting inside this wooden box, 
kind of thought, how about these tunes that, 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 that other kids would ask for? You know, one of my first uh, presents was a xylophone. And I used to play that all the time and draw the other kids crazy. So music, being around music, I mean, it's, it's my favorite thing. You know, production and writing songs, you know, I, I'll do 24-7 if I could. I love it. You're going to be around some other great artists, Alexander O'Neill, Aswad, Kenny Thomas. Aswad, Kenny Thomas. Do you know any of them personally? I mean, I can just imagine it's almost like it's going to be a reunion. That's what it feels like. This... Oh, it will be. <laughs> it will be. The guys from Aswad, I mean, I mean, back in the day when they were just brand new on the scene, I remember in the early days when we were in Canada, I remember once we organised uh, an event at my old school. And we played some shows, we brought the band in, had a great time, and we invited Alba to come along and play, mm. you know, a, a, alongside us back in the day. And they just tore the roof off the place, right? And, they, and so they've been friends of ours from years ago and really, really looking forward to working up again. We've done, we've done several shows with, with, with Alex, and, you know, he's a great performer. Yes. And, and Kenny, once again, we've yes. done several shows with Kenny, and he's always Mr. Cool. He always does the wicked shows. So it's going to be a family hookup. That's what it's going to be. Brilliant. And sometimes when you're having your, your downs your, you know, and, and you're feeling challenged, what is it that kicks you up and gets you going again? Because, you know, I've, I interviewed lots of artists and we're human beings. We all have our down days. And it's always course, interesting to find out what is it that gets you back up on your feet or how do you manage, I should say, because sometimes you don't want to get back on your feet. You just need to sit with it and yeah. manage. Um, so what, what, well, is, what, is, what are your tools? Well, you know something? It, it changes. Tools. Well, you know something? It, it changes. It always changes. Sometimes it's just being around the family. I mean, my family had these old ups and downs. We were a family like anybody else. We have great times and da- down times. But being around the family is wonderful for me. I live not too far from Woburn Safari Park. Not oh. too far from that. So sometimes when I get a little sort of overly stressed, I just go and drive past and look at the deer, the deer park. It's, it's really somewhere that, you, that chills you out. I just drive past, look at the deer, feel like I'm... I mean, um, sort of uh, the Lion King, you know, <laughs> then drive home again. And it's really, it's really calming instance for me. So outside, outdoors, I love... Very calming. It, it, I really love being by the sea, going to the coast. Sometimes I'll just drive for hours to the coast, stay at the sea for a couple of hours, then drive home again. Mm. I'll find that cheers me out sometimes. Excellent. And do you have any new material coming up, coming out soon? Well, I wish I did. I wish I did. I've been so busy. I mean... I mean, I mean, I mean, back in the, with family stuff, I mean, last year, my, one of my daughters got married, which was a fantastic event, Excellent. and the whole thing took, took up a lot of energy, and it was just emotional, it was a beautiful, wonderful time, uh, expecting her, her first child any minute now, oh. she, she's here in the other room. Shall I call your, call your granddad? Huge. <laughs> I'm the first, can you believe it? And I'm looking forward to it. And as if I haven't got enough on my plate, <laughs> another of my daughters is getting married next month. Wow. So once again, I'm going to have to, you know, help, you know, to do the father, the bride stuff, you know, which I'll do my best. So, I, so in terms of new material, I started writing some stuff came back from the, the first South Africa trip and I put some tracks in the bag. But I've just been so busy just with family stuff, just, yeah. you know, um, general and, and my missus I think she does a lot of shows and I go with her on a lot of her shows nearly all her shows and I'm basically you know, taking her all over the place you know, to Spain to Gibraltar to, um, to um, Scotland to different places so I'm kept my feet don't touch the ground sometimes it's crazy but I do love it I absolutely the best job in the world I absolutely love it Brilliant, because you know there's that saying: the devil finds work for idle hands. So I'm glad. Oh yeah, listen, yes, um, yes, that phrase, my phrase, my mummy to beat me up with that one. Yes, yeah, devil finds work for idle hands. I remember all the things I was taught that, uh, as a kid growing up. You know, it would, uh, and that, I think that probably helped me in my career mm-hmm. because, um, you know, because just loving music is one thing, but it's such a anyone who's had any degree of success in it will tell you it is so difficult. It's not, it's not like you know, building chairs and tables, you sell them. You could you jump so many hoops and you're also going to get a bit lucky every now and then mm. to try and make it through it. And then to have a career, Abby, I think, oh, let me give you one, one another phrase. I don't know if you ever heard this when you were growing up. Uh, my mum said to me, heights by great men reached and kept were not attained, but they, whilst their companions set, were toiling upwards through the night. <laughs> no, I've not heard that. <laughs> That, oh, that stuck with me so basically so you, you're going to put so much in to make it at the other end so 
Um, I, I do keep myself busy, but otherwise, otherwise it's a little too busy. I would like to spend more time just in the studio, more time just in the studio, writing stuff and putting stuff out. But the whole getting stuff out to the public is, is so different from back in the day it now. It is, yes, you know, it's, you know, definitely. So much online. And, and even, you know, if, if making it financially, yes. it's not that it needs to be big finance, but it was just getting it out there. It's a whole different ball game. And, and I'm from the stone, knowing how it works and how to get the best out of it, the whole new education. Yes, you know, definitely. I, I did do, I, you know, I did have my own label in the 90s, you know, the, the production house label, which was, you know, the one that put out Baby D, that would, that would be a fantasy. That was, that, so I do know based how labels run back in the day, but mm. now that it's such a different system. So I know other artists, and, you know, 80s artists putting the stuff out, you know, online and, and making it work, but it's a, it's a whole different system. It's a different ball game now, yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You've shared so much in such a short space of time, and I love your energy, I love your, your vibrancy, and it, it just it's almost like it represents your music. I mean, I wanted to use the pun, you know, everybody's, everybody's laughing because I can prove it that I've interviewed you, I've just used some of the names of your tracks. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I'm trying to. No, wait until tonight. There we go. <laughs> yes, um, you know I mean? let's, 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 link them all, all together, you get a special prize. Come on. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow for me is going to be ain't nothing but a house party tonight because I'm going to go out and dance because it's been an intense week. How's that, Phil? <laughs> that, that's not bad. That's not bad. You get, you get a prize, yeah. I'll continue for that um, cruise now. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Well fantastic. Well earned. Thank you. And so in, in winding down, Phil, you know, what can the audience, what can the audience expect from Phil Fearon, the legendary Phil Fearon, next week at the Winter Gardens Mark 8 Sea Lounge Big Night Out? Yes. Uh, all I can say is I'm really looking forward to it. Every every aspect of it just sounds like it's going to be one real party, one bit of nostalgia. I'm going to hook up with some good friends. As well, guys, I'm seeing for ages. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Kenny is always a total gentleman, and I'm seeing Alex for a while as well. So it, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And the audience, oh, I just, just hope everyone sings their heart out and dance their heart out. So I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to be there, and I'm hoping to grab a picture with you. That's Absolutely. to be something looking forward to. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Phil Fairon. Thank you, Phil, for your time. Thank you. Love your energy, and just wishing you continued success. And also, Happy granddad, or are you going to make me? Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? <laughs> thank you. We're looking forward to that. Thank you, Esther. Thank All you. right, thank, thank you. you.